and welcome back to the spell where we're gonna keep on going as we should like every other freaking series I do on this channel god dang it does that mean that Steve I don't freaking know <laughs> but like I said I must be mistaken. There's, there's a lot of other stuff that must that might explain his lack of empathy. It's just that, but uh, from the things I've read, psychopathy lacks emotion and empathy. No, no, I think I changed her voice since last episode. I'm not gonna watch that episode, it's been a while, don't judge. But, if it's, you said he's not aggressive, and you don't think he's manipulative or fake, then I guess it's fine, right? I don't freaking know, you big brain. I just blow shit up. <laughs> manipulative? Fake? Day uh, of the supermarket popped into her mind. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Hopefully. Dear God. Wasn't he manipulating the situation? Manipulating her in order to talk to Miss Roxanne? Wasn't he faking in front of Miss Roxanne trying to seduce or once again manipulate her? Is this what Amelia is talking about? I don't know. But it would make some sense. Oh, are you alright? I want to make sure. Because <laughs> I can't do basic math. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. He's <laughs> just going insane. Glass is about to start. Let's talk later, alright? Wait, this is middle school? Why do you have alphabets way up there? I thought that was mainly in grade school. Sure. <laughs> That's what I let the reader think. God! Actually, no, not good! <laughs> that is bad. Those things she had yesterday night were complete creeping into the back of her head mind. Again, bigger and scarier than ever. Was Steel? Uh, yes, Steel. Was Steve really a sociopath? Sure, there was a lot of weird stuff happening around him. And he was extremely mysterious, too. But everything he did up to this point was in ordinary order to make her happy, right? He did, li he did like her, right? I don't know. Right? Knowing that you all look like you should be in grade school, I don't freaking know. I'm a dumbass without a plan. That's what I know. It was right on time with his antique white car. She didn't want to be seen entering it, it was that ugly. But he had the best parking place, as if a meter of matter of curse the case right in front of the school. So she had to enter in, fr in front of everybody. Despite her appreci appreciation, it Took some more time to start the ugly thing, just to make sure he, she'd feel ashamed, all right. <laughs> Hopefully he didn't sit there the entire time. <laughs> Finally, she let out a sigh of relief the moment she they took off. <laughs> He's looking like, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> He drove silently. There was no music. 
The car was making all kinds of weird noises, and she was not nearly brave enough to start a conversation. I uh, can't complain too heavily. <laughs> The things she talked about with Emily earlier were still fresh in her mind. She didn't know what to make of all of it. Oh, I don't know what you talked about outside of Steve is a person that has no emotion. That's the only thing I know. He's also pale as hell. He, he makes me look like I got a tan. That's how bad it is. And it didn't help that he would probably never start a conversation on his own. He's that type of person after. Yeah. Oh god, he's, he's making water! He's speaking! Does it time to panic? <laughs> he took something out of his pocket and showed it to her. A cell phone, a brand new model. The one that is very popular right now. Got a phone? So you bought one! She smiled, if only a little. They just talked about it earlier today. And he had already taken care of it. Thank God, now that makes it a lot easier to contact him. <laughs> Good. He clearly did it. Did this for her. Well, knowing that he has to take care of a kid, uh, it, it makes sense. Could someone like this really be a psychopath? Well, I don't know! Why are you asking me? She couldn't believe it. She wouldn't believe it. You don't want it. Wait, what? Wait, what? Dude, you need a phone! <laughs> he was still holding it out. But, but this is yours, right? She wanted him to have a cell phone, not ha her have a new one. Yeah, got mine right here. <laughs> he just brings up a flip phone. He took out a plan looking phone from 10 years ago. Not even a smartphone. Well, it's a phone, it doesn't matter. Why did you buy me this expensive one, if you can't even buy yourself a good one? Yo, he has a phone! That's all that really matters at this point! <laughs> you can't complain! <laughs> I've had a flip phone for freaking like a uh, couple of years, it's not bad! <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting another one, I wouldn't mind getting a flip phone again. The smartphone ain't that bad. <laughs> Has some perks. <laughs> Smartphone uh, blow phones can be better at sometimes. She didn't understand his logic. Don't know. Made me think of you somehow. You're always looking at yours with such a big smile. I guess I thought you would smile even more with an, with a better one. Well, at least he's thinking. I will give him that. He's at least trying. He was so strange. She started laughing. <laughs> As I was thinking, wait, how, how should I start this? <laughs> it's the things people send me that make me smile and not the phone itself, you weirdo. Ah. <laughs> Steve and I had two separate reactions there. <laughs> His eyes opened just a bit wider, as if realizing what she meant. If you really want to see me smile, you need to send some send me things, all right? A lot. <laughs> okay, y you know he's gonna misconstrue that. Even I, I can kind of see how he's acting. Like the heck. <laughs> How are you not realizing that- Ah, oh, she is a child. <laughs> it took courage for her to say this. Sure, I understand. 
So should I get Twitter, or Instagram, or Facebook? <laughs> or all three? So keep the phone, okay? It will be easier for you to write me stuff. And I kind of want to keep my old phone, any the old one anyway. Mom bought me it for me after all. It kind of makes some sense. So what? I, I, yeah, sentimental value stuff. He didn't say a word. He glanced at her with a big, his big brown eyes for a second, then returned them to to the road. I just need to enter my my number in first in in it first. Yeah, so then you can actually answer, so you can contact him when you need him the most. Somewhat, hopefully. <laughs> she took the phone from his hand, skillfully navigating through it all, through it, and imported, imported her number with care. Here. <laughs> yeah, you just hear beep and you boopy. <laughs> This is a wibbly one. Oh god. She showed him her name and a heart beside it. No, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I'm just uh, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys think of what I was gonna say later. He took the phone from her hand with a thanks. He kept his eyes on the road. With his right hand on his side, holding his new phone, he started pushing buttons without even looking at it, as if doing intelligible things. What are you? Oh god. I knew this was gonna happen. She was about to ask him, but... Then her phone vibrated. It was a message she didn't recognize. A sender number. Don't tell me. She looked at his way, but his face was as emotionless as ever. He couldn't have sent her something while driving, right? But what if he did? Was it because of what she said? Did he want to see her smile? Was that it? <laughs> well played, motherfucker. Well fucking played. <laughs> this warmed her somehow to think that another adult besides her parents would care for her like that. <laughs> like, I gotta get this motherfucking credit. Like, god damn it. Heartwarming moments, you have to like a little bit. <laughs> what kind of thing would he write as his first message to me? She wondered. She took a peek discreetly. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, no! I don't want. The, why did I. I don't even know what button I pressed. Why did she expect anything from him? <laughs> don't know. Hey, at least he said something about it. <laughs> at least he brought it up. Kinda. <gasps> oh, God. She was. Prepared, prepared lunch for tomorrow. While he was reading on the couch, the TV was playing in the background. You know I can prepare it for you if you want. No thanks. Well, if she's old enough, she can do that. <laughs> Let's fuck for me then. <laughs> March at the throne instead. She was quick to refuse. She didn't want to 
recommend re 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 uh, if what happened earlier today. Not again, she thought. Earlier that day. Hey, no, hey, Laos. What's up with your lunch? You didn't have the usual big brown bag today. Emily was quick to notice any kind of change. She had always been keen, a keen observer. Yeah, I completely forgot about it. It's Steve who made it. Oh, I wonder. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> it's just like yelling at her phone. <laughs> oh, I wonder what kind of things this guy would cook. Food, food, and what the fuck he would cook. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna end the episode out there. <laughs> this time in black and white. <laughs> I'll see all you guys next time, and I hope all of you have a great, wonderful time. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day, too. I'll see you guys next time.